Hello friends, I am Jishu Baiju, working as an assistant professor in the Biani Institute of Science and Management, welcomes you on behalf of Guru KPU. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on the topic of adrenal gland. Adrenal glands comes under endocrine glands. There are two types of glands mainly present in our body, that is exocrine gland and the endocrine gland. Exocrine glands are those glands which secrete their hormones into the duct and reaches to the target cells. Example, salivary gland, sweat glands. But in endocrine glands, the hormones are secreted directly into the bloodstream. The adrenal glands comes under endocrine glands. Adrenal glands are uh, also known as suprarenal glands. There are two adrenal glands are present on the top of the two kidneys which are present in our body. Uh, they, they are 4 centimeter long and 3 centimeter thick. The, uh, the right adrenal gland is having the triangular shape and the left adrenal gland is having a semilunar shape. Each adrenal gland is having two distinct structures that is adrenal cortex and the adrenal medulla. Adrenal cortex consists of three group of uh, layers uh, through which it is made that is zona glomerulosa, zona reticularis and zona, zona fasciculate, uh, zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculate and zona reticularis. The uh, adrenal glands secrete three group of hormones, they are collectively known as adrenocorticoids or glucocorticoids or corticoids. They are glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids and sex hormones. They are glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids and sex hormones, glucocorticoids. Glucocorticoids, example of glucocorticoids are cortisone, corticosterone, and cortisol. They help in the body to regulate the metabolic rate and uh, uh, response by the stress. They are, uh, the, their secretion is stimulated by the ACTH of anterior pituitary and also by the uh, stress. Now, they uh, help in uh, different functions like glucogenesis that is formation of new proteins and lipolysis that is breakdown of triglyceride acid into fatty acid. Now, next absorption of water and sodium stimulating breakdown of protein. Now, next one is the mineralocorticoids. The example of mineralocorticoids are uh, aldosterone. They, their main function in the body is maintenance of water and electrolyte balance in the body. They reabsorb the sodium uh, in the renal tubules and excrete the potassium in the urine. The blood potassium level regulate the amount of aldosterone in the, which are secreted by the adrenal cortex. When the level of blood potassium increases, the level of aldosterone hormone is also increases. And when the level of potassium is decreases, the uh, amount of aldosterone hormone is also decreases. Now, next one is the sex hormone. That is, example of sex hormone is the androgen. Their uh, function is not yet clear, but they are helpful in the, at the time of the puberty. This is, this is about the first part of the adrenal gland. Now, let's see the adrenal medulla, which is the second part. Adrenal medulla secretes two hormones, that is adrenaline and non-adrenaline. They are also known as epinephrine and norepinephrine. They both are neurotransmitters which are synthesized or stimulated by the sympathetic nervous system of autonomic nervous system. So, uh, adrenaline is a post-ganglionic neurotransmitter uh, which is uh, post-ganglionic neurotransmitters uh, synthesized or stimulated by the sympathetic nervous system. They both, these both hormones combinedly uh, do the functions or give the responses like increase the heart rate, increase the BP or uh, increase the metabolic rate or absorption of water and sodium. Uh, uh, next is the blood supply, blood supply to the adrenal gland. Blood supply to the adrenal glands uh, is by through many arteries and veins. They are so superior suprarenal arteries, inferior suprarenal arteries and middle suprarenal arteries, veins right, suprarenal vein, left suprarenal vein. Thank you, thank you and thank For you. For more information you can log on to www.gurukepio.com.